In this section, we'll see about how to create a background job and send an email. Background jobs are generally used where we want that system should automatically trigger some programs. Like most, it is used for triggering the MIS report. Or we also use if some reports are taking a lot of time in the foreground. So we generally schedule a background job. And after finishing a background job, we can fit the report output. There are many ways we can use the background job. So here I'm giving a simple example. Let's say I have a program T code like VA05N, which is nothing but a sales order report. I will create a variant for this report. Then after creating a variant for the program, we have to create a job with SM36. And as per the given date and time, the job will get run. And if you want to monitor the job status, then we can go in SM37. And as I'm sending through email, so we can also see the email in the T code SOST. So the first step is we have to create a variant for the program for which we want to trigger the email. So go to VA05N. So here, if I execute, I can see the list of orders. This is my development system. The very limited orders are there. But generally, in real time, what we do, we trigger based on some date. Let's say I want to trigger this report every day after 9 o'clock so that I can get all the orders created on that particular date. So I will enter today's date here. And as my requirement is, the report should get triggered every day with that date. So we click, click on save. Let's say all. Now here, for default system date every day, in the document date, in this options column, selection variable, select as dynamic date. And in the name of the variable, select current date. So what this will do, this will automatically put the current date on this variant every day. Click in your save. So like this first we have to create a variant if you want to trigger the report every day. If I execute, today is no order. So time being, I am removing that variant, that current date I am removing. But this is the method how to enter current date every day. So I am removing this. Okay, let me create one more variant with all control S. V A 5 N control S all days. So I create a variant all under the days. So we have to copy the program name because the job we schedule is to the program name only, not with the T code. So from here, I copy the program name. After this, next step is creating our job with T code SM36. So go to T code SM36. Here I am giving as sales report. Here you can see job class. By default, this is C. If you want some high priority job to schedule, then you can change the priority. Generally by default, it will be C. Create on, click on e steps. In the e steps, here we have to give the program name for which we want to trigger the job and the variant which we have created. Like I have created two variant, but this time I am going with all days. Check and save. So this we have created one e steps. You can see here one is successfully defined. Now here we have to give the e start conditions. When you want this job to be triggered, if your requirement is to trigger this every day, then go to date and time, select the date, 
and a time on which we want to trigger and here for triggering this every day click on period values then as per your requirement you have to select whether you want on hourly basis or daily basis weekly basis monthly or other period in other also we can give the as per requirement like month wise weekly days or so there are different methods so generally for trigger or report every day we have to select here daily and check and save okay so this save will automatically get set and then we have to check and save but as i want to trigger this immediately that's why instead of periodic values i am selecting here immediate so as soon as i select the immediate you can see these options here check and save now my, my last requirement is i want to send the email to the user of the output of the report so for adding the email address here you can see the is pool list recipient click here here enter the email id to whom you want to send the email let's say support you can maintain the email id of the user any command says whether you want to send the copy the blind copy etc after entering the email id press on copy and now save the record so you can see the sales underscore report saved with the status release the release is very important if it is not released it will not get triggered now my next step is to monitor the job as i have run this immediately so i can monitor this report so for monitoring go to t code sm37 here enter the job name execute you can see the is full list is generated and the is status is finish this means that the system has triggered the report if you want to download the get a uh, report output from here click on is pull list here you can see the list of the output this same detail which i was getting through the v0fn you can also transfer download the data from here if you click on save to local file you can download data from here so this is about the job monitoring you can monitor the job through sm37 the last one as i mentioned i have sent the email to a particular user so if you want to check the user uh, email go to sost here you can see the first one as i maintain as support@web.com you can see this in yellow color so once the email is sent this will be in green color this is my development server i not configure email here so to see the email content select this click on display here you can see the report output is attached to the email if you click on this you can see the report output so in this way the automatically the user will get the report in the attachment so mostly it is used for the mis purpose so that if you want to sales report purchase of report of every day you can schedule a particular date and time and you can run the report so no manual interaction required system automatically trigger the report every day based on the set date and time so in this way we done with the creation of background job and sending a email